really big expensive simulation room that I I'm done at like 4.30 today, but Alex is like done for the day. I'll do it, but I don't think anyone cares that much. Hey, what's up everyone? Sorry that I look like kind of a mess. I just took a body shower after I did some cycling. But I finally slipped up and I didn't vlog for the day. I attempted to vlog today, but all I really did was rest, sleep, and eat. It didn't work out. But we did have some dim sum this morning. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm excited for soup. We have turnip cake, shrimp balls, these noodle things. Where's the sauce? Oh, they're over here. Yeah. Chicken feet, egg tart, tagao, chow mai, and then this leftover leaves. <laughs> All this Vietnamese food, man. Um, it's the day after we went to the drive-in and we were just really exhausted. It only lasted till like 10, but we like slept so much after. We're in Orange County, it's called Dim Sum Co. And it's one of our favorite spots and it's actually open um, the non-traditional hours so you can get dim sum at whatever time you really want to, which is really nice. Um, but we went there really, really early, literally at 8.30 in the morning. And then I also got some coconut juice that reminds me I really want to get that. BRB. It's from the Vietnamese store and it was like a dollar or something in coconut water. Um, it's really rehydrating so that's really helpful especially the day after we go to an event. But if you haven't checked out that vlog I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, today is Sunday the 6th. I'm just getting ready for my first day at um, my new job, which I haven't talked about at all, but I guess I should kind of intro it right now. So it is a six month, six month, a three month job um, that's temporary in the ER. It's at this really big hospital. I won't say the specific location, obviously for privacy reasons. It's kind of difficult because as opposed to the like, three months of training I had as a new grad, I'm gonna have like one week to really figure it all out so that'll be exciting and hopefully it won't be too crazy i know obviously right now the er's are insane but our ratios are actually different at this hospital as opposed to my last one my last one was four to one and this one's three to one and i'm gonna be day shift i'm so excited to just be off nights if you didn't know i was working 2 p.m to 2 a.m for about august until now so quite a bit and then prior to that i was working night shift from january to August so quite a long time that I've basically been on nights and I'm excited to have a change in a normal schedule so I'm super excited for that um, I'm picking up my clothes right now I'll show you what that looks like it is a business business casual dress code because it's just orientation so but I really do like this outfit I think this one's really cute I might actually wear this one tomorrow and it's just these really cute pattern slacks with this black top and then I'll tuck that in and I think that'll be really cute so I might wear that and then just wear this coat over this so I'll just double up on the coat for both days but yeah it starts tomorrow at 8 but I'm gonna wake up at like 6 30 hopefully so that I can kind of navigate in case there's traffic and then it's kind of like a new place so I need to f a lot a lot of time for me it's only it's pretty close by kind of yeah, new adventures, man. I, it's basically like a travel nursing job. I'll eventually get into traveling, but I don't know if I have like guts to the guts or the confidence to do that just yet. Um, but it's really interesting because I actually have been going online, and there's so many jobs for just like all you do is COVID swab. And I saw that there was this company that I was trying to like talk with, and they're literally sending nurses out the, for North Carolina just to swab them. And I guess it's because there's a shortage there of nurses, but literally all you do is swab people and they'll pay for your airfare and everything. I would love to do that, but the thing is, you have to think in the long term that I probably won't be doing this um, forever. So, I don't know. I think it'd be a really exciting opportunity, but I also have to think about like, well, what else am I what are my other goals you know but yeah right now it's about 8 p.m i'm gonna eat some dinner then i'm gonna go to sleep hopefully kind of early we did end up taking a nap me and alex for like two hours we were just watching videos and then we like knocked out so i hope i'm still able to sleep i'm gonna organize my room a little bit but i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm just gonna combine this footage with my december um 
seventh footage. Hopefully that'll be a lot more entertaining for you, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7 or 8. I don't even know anymore. Um, because I'm combining yesterday and today's vlog since I really didn't do anything on Sunday at all. So, I am going to take you along today on my very first day on my job. It's essentially just orientation, but right now I'm in the Starbucks drive through line, so I figured it'd be a good time to talk with you all. Um, it's about 7.20 right now. I have to be there at 8, so I have a little bit of time. So, if you haven't already gotten the Starbucks free coffee and you're a frontline worker, definitely recommend that. They're doing this for the whole month of December, just like they did in um, back in like April or March. Um, so yeah, their coffee is really, really good. I really like their Pike Place. So the hot coffee, this um, iced coffee is like whatever. But yeah, I don't really know what today holds other than obviously orientation. I know orientation entails like a lot of lecturing. So we'll definitely see what this has in store for us. Um, dang it. You know what I did forget? I was going to return my Kohl's packages after this. I should have brought those. Dang it. I know I forgot something, but it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I think it'll be a short day. At least it seems like a short day for me. I know that seems like very normal for everyone else, like the 9 to 5 schedule, but I've never done 9 to 5 other than orientation. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I'm excited just to be home before 7 p.m., you know, but yeah that's just gonna be for this week and then next week i start my one week that they give me a preceptorship and then i'm essentially on my own um which is a lot different especially for um me because i the last time i oriented to a place it took me three months and that's when i was a brand new nurse and at first i thought that they would give you at least like more than a week of orientation but i guess not doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, but yeah, I am excited to start this new journey with you all. I'm excited to share all my experiences because I know it's really fun to always look back on because I look back on my old like orientation from when I was a new grad and it's crazy like to really see my progression. Anyway, my lash extensions are driving me nuts. I think that I'm not gonna redo them even though they're really pretty and they look really good. It's just like so irritating to me to not be able to take them off. I'm also wearing business casual. I didn't show you guys, but I showed you kind of last night what I was wearing. Just this black top with these plaid looking pants and then this really warm coat that I'm excited to wear because it's freezing right now. I'm like really cutting it close now. I don't know if I should have went to Starbucks, but it's making me kind of panic right now. Yeah. Hi, can I get one tall pike place with cream? And you want to put on the side? Yes, please. Tall, tall pike with cream and then put on the side. Can I do Thank you. You know what I usually do is I just order my Starbucks and then I pick it up. But because I have to show my badge, it makes it a little bit more difficult because of the fact that I have to, you know, like show it to them and then what are they gonna do, like refund me? I really shouldn't have gotten coffee. I really hate myself for this. Yes, please. Would Thank you like you. a straw to start in? No, it's okay. Thank you. Much, much, much later. Oh, so I'm on my very, very short lunch break, but Alex is here because Hello. he works like 10 minutes okay. away. Anyway, orientation is going okay. I'm done at like 4.30 today, but Alex is like done for the day. So. Salaried boy. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, my lunch is till 12.30. I'm just gonna endure the next four hours and then I'll be able to go home. But Alex is going home now, so. Say I just bye have to throw to my the vlog. Bye vlog. I'll see ya when I see ya.
everyone? Welcome back. I have quite a lot of things to talk about, but since it is now 4.30, I may be hitting traffic, so I'm going to try and find my phone really quick so that I can start my car and everything. But yeah, orientation went until 4.30. It was jam-packed with so many activities, and I will talk to you a little bit later about them. But right now, I need to get home. I forgot what it's like to actually, you know, um, well, 37 minutes. I forgot what it's like to get out at a normal time because I used to do 2 to 2.30 a.m. And that was a really odd shift and nobody else would come out when I would. So I'm not used to everyone walking out at the same time, so. Let me just get out of this parking lot. It's already so dark, I don't know why. But, oh shit, this is not an exit. So I'll try and talk as much as I can. But, basically, we went through normal orientation stuff. Um, it's actually a really good refresher. We went through quite a few things. Um, we went through central line dressings. Um, we went through all the ACLS stuff. Um, we went through like Hoyer lift, so like patient safety, like using one of those like lifting machines and they have quite a few of those there. Um, which is really neat because there's something, it's like a Sally tube and then like, I don't even know what it's called. It's one of those wheelchairs where you like stand it, you like tell the patient to hold on to it and then the, you like drop the flaps and then they sit back into it. If you know what that's called, drop it in the comments down below because I honestly forgot what it's called already. And then we also went over, what else did we go over? Um, we went through, oh my god, so, I'm gonna have a wait. Uh, we went through N95 testing and like, I kind of figured like, because I lost some weight, um, but the smallest N95 and they have a different type of N95, it doesn't fit me like at all. So either like one, I've been wearing those teal N95s completely incorrectly. So I probably haven't been protected this whole time. So it's kind of crazy because I'm like, holy shit, like I could have gotten COVID, especially because I wasn't wearing the right mask this whole time. Okay, so this lighting is kind of awful. I don't know if I should go inside or not. But I don't want to change out just yet. That's why I like turned on all my lighting. So we went through quite a few things. Um, and I don't know if I talked about it earlier, but look. So this is the N95 that I normally wear, that I normally wear to work um, at my old work. And I was never fitted for this, but this is the only one we had. And it doesn't fit. I was wearing it wrong the whole time. And this is the small and this is the smallest that they have. It doesn't fit because I could taste it still. So they also gave me this one to try on. And this is like a 3M version. And these are really nice and sturdy, but still I could like really taste it. I think it's more so because my nose bridge is so short that it doesn't cover me all the way. So I don't fit in the N95, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, I think I'll just talk to you inside because this lighting, I can't even stand it. I really didn't eat very much either, so I'm gonna go eat. Also, look at this. Bruh, my freaking shoe broke. So, the rest of the time I wore my Crocs, which was embarrassing, but also nobody was really dressing business casual attire, so I was like, whatever. I'm like kind of embarrassed, but not really because I just wanted to get out of those freaking broken ass heels. So this is my outfit. It's this black top with these plaid pants and then I wore heels until they broke. I didn't get a chance to show you because I was running late this morning. I'll sit over here for the aesthetic. I have some food, some like porridge that I didn't eat from lunch. And then some beef and some vegetables that I also did not eat. But basically, we went through orientation stuff, you know, the normal stuff, introduction, um, uh, some quizzes. Something that I noticed that this company does a lot more is because I guess the fact that we're three to one, they expect us to do more. So for one, we do a lot more bedside testing. So we do strep test, flu bedside, and then like obviously urine and then glucose. I'm used to doing glucose, trope, sometimes lactic, and then there used to be a third one, but we got rid of it. But yeah, strep, 
and flu is new to me um but it's not too complex i think hopefully it won't be too hard once i'm on the floor i don't start on the floor until the 13th but i do have orientation all week so that's a little that'll be exciting after that we went straight into um the hands-on thing so we did the patient lifting pretty interesting one just because they have so many different resources I noticed they hired a bunch of LVNs which is super interesting because we don't have any LVNs but they're assigned to the fast track area and a lot of them are IV and phlebotomy certified so that's helpful I'm interested in seeing that dynamic because I've never seen that at any hospital that I've ever been at. So many of them are phasing out their LVNs, so it's interesting to see that the, this company still utilizes them. Sorry, I'm really hungry. What else can I tell you? Um, They had this really big, expensive simulation room that I assume that we're gonna use throughout the week. We didn't really use it other than to use um the lifting equipment on the mannequin, but they have one of those. I'm gonna pop it on the screen right here to show you exactly what that looks like because it looked like um nursing school basically so that was cool mm, what else can i tell you yeah today was a really long paperwork filled day it wasn't too crazy but we're back again tomorrow at 8 30 but it's at a site that's closer to my house i'm happy about that i'm excited to see what else is in store i'm gonna finish eating and then Then I think I'm gonna work out because we have a little bike over here. You can't see it. I'm gonna watch some vlogmas content and then. And that'll be that. I'm gonna finish this and I'll talk to you guys later. Say hi to my vlog. Hello again. I thought I said bye to you earlier. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up everyone? So it's a little while later. I am ready for bed essentially. Um, but it's about 8, 8, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. right now, and I am going to light my candle that Alex got me. It's my favorite ever. It's fresh balsam from, uh, I seem to say Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works, I mean. Yum. Okay. Um, I took a few notes regarding their presentation so I think I'm gonna consolidate those into this notebook because you know you know I don't know um there was like helpful information and I feel like later on I do want to like kind of make um a consolidated version of like important um ER things to know so for example like chest tubes central lines iv starts um you know all that kind of jazz and it's pretty i can't say basic because it's it's sometimes that like i have a hard time remembering how to do things like i don't really access portacast normally because at my previous hospital it wasn't best practice to access it because we wanted those strictly for a chemo and if that ever had any issues you know like they couldn't get their chemo and that's like obviously a big deal versus um this training they said we normally um access pediatric oncology portacast so i was like oh that's different like i really don't ever access portacast but it's not too hard it's just like really um, not something that I do often. But anyway, I'm going to consolidate these notes. I'll show you, like, my notes. It's not very, um, thorough, but I do want to go more in depth later on. Um, I think it'll just be helpful information. And then I have a lot of things from this packet. This one I'm going to keep at home. And then I have this whole big envelope with all the paperwork that I'm going to be doing throughout this whole week. So I'm going to do this, and then I'll get back to you.
to I don't know if you care what it is. I was gonna go through it, but I don't think anyone cares that much. <laughs> so yeah, just about cast some things to chart on, what things to draw. Um, apparently we have a lot of oncology, so I took notes on that. And then these are just the skills we went through just in case I ever forgot. I was going through the paperwork that they gave us for chest tubes, but um, I'm too lazy to do that right now. So anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, I'm pretty much gonna go to sleep right now. I am just like, ready to just watch some euphoria and go to sleep so don't forget to like and comment down below it really helps my channel grow and i always respond to all of my comments so don't forget to comment something and follow me at jazzinners on instagram tiktok etc and i'll see you in the next vlogmas